Hey guys, it is Michelle, and um, I'm coming on here live to talk to you about Cape Cod and how the trip went. As you can see, I am pretty um, burnt from the trip. Very, very burnt. Um, even like the worst part is like the back of my neck. As you can see, I got burnt pretty bad. Ah, it hurts pretty bad. Now, I had every intent on doing live filming with you guys while I was on the Cape and things did not go according to plan. So, I left my camera home because I initially thought that when I got to the Cape that I was going to be using my phone to do live footage. Now, here's the problem. The cell phone provider that I have isn't predominant on the Cape, meaning I had no service. I think I had service maybe twice I was able to call back home to my mom. Um, and even at that, I lost her within a couple minutes. And I couldn't hook up to the Wi-Fi at the hotel for whatever reason. It was like horrific. So I wasn't able to film live like I originally had wanted, which I'm really upset about because I really wanted to do what I was so looking forward to it. Now that I know that my cell phone provider is not dominant and not really used where we vacation, I'm going to have to bring my actual camera. So live footage is not going to happen next time, probably. I'll have to film it and then upload it when we come back. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. I had every intent on doing that, and it just didn't happen. Um, I did get burnt really bad, regardless of my attempts at sunblock. Like I said, the back of my neck is all burnt up. So I've been alibaring all day, and it's been, um, oh, it, it is what it is. So I'm sorry, guys. I really did want to film live on the cape but i just wasn't able to because my cell phone is stupid and it is what it is Bam. thank you so much brooke um i've been putting a ton of aloe vera on today it's been helping but the one on my back is probably the worst i've been trying to like keep this shirt from touching it that one's the worst one i did apply tons of sunblock like in the morning after shower dried off i would put on my sunblock head to toe because I do burn very easily, as you can tell. Um, and um, wait, you're supposed to wait, I think, 30 minutes for it to absorb, which I would. Then we'd go have breakfast, and um, we'd go and hit the water. And um, even, like, when we were on the beach, because we spent literally the past couple of days, that's all we were. We didn't do a lot of shopping. I do have some things to show you, but we didn't do a lot of shopping. And um, uh, I would reapply during the day, and, you know, it just it didn't help. Uh, my first day when I got this burn because apparently I didn't get my hairline good enough but and it, it continued anyway so it is what it is but I am going to show you the cool things I got I'm going to save the best for last I did get some really pretty things and I'll show you those for last I think you'll really appreciate them anyway um the cape has changed a lot since I first started going there sorry guys and my back is killing me because I think the bed at the hotel is part of the reason um that thing was horrible to sleep on it is what it is. I probably should have asked for a different hotel room, but I've had nothing but good experiences with this particular place in the past, so it is what it is. Ah, and nothing's like your own bed anyway, so we're just going to deal with it. Anyway, a lot of things on the Cape have changed since I first started vacationing there years ago, and um, one of the places in particular, there is, there's Christmas tree shops everywhere, and I love the Christmas tree shops. The one in particular is in Yarmouth, or Yarmouth, however you pronounce it. And it's um, in this little plaza where there's like a liquor store, there's like a place you can buy sweatshirts and all kinds of other little places. I think there's an ice cream shop in there as well. Um, and that one tends to be my favorite. So we went down and this particular time, this location is going out of business. Whoever owns that, um, whoever they're renting from, and this location has been there from what they told me for 47 years, um, they have a different vision now for that location. So they're forcing them out. There is one up the street I think that's in Hyannis. I think that's the other, the next closest look. There's one in Dennis and one in Hyannis. Um, I don't know, but um, there are other locations. So they're not going out of business entirely. They just, um, the owner doesn't want them there anymore. Across the street is a huge water park, bouncy house kind of thing that, um, it's a resort, but you can stay there. You can stay there and there's like all kinds of activities. It's, it's really good for kids. And it's expanded a lot. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so it's, uh, I think that's the reason why the, this location is going out of business. I think whoever owns the property wants something to do with to attract people from across. 
across the street. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much this sunburn my back hurts. Anyway, so long story short, they were going out of business and everything in there was like 10% off, which uh, isn't that much of a bargain, but the Christmas tree shop is a really good deal to begin with. So I did pick up some things that I probably would have picked up anyway, but uh, we'll start with this. Christmas tree shop, obviously, there's a lot of Christmas themed items in the store. So we got this um, in preparation because Christmas is right around the corner. This is a 101 deluxe gift set. It's like originally $2.99 after 10%. I think it came to like $2.60. You know, a couple cents off. You get six foldable cards, 76 peel and stick labels, and 19 tie on tags, which is what I really thought were adorable. Like little tie on ones, little penguins and stuff I thought were super cute. Um, and there's one called Fa La 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 Llama. I know a few people I'm giving the llama to. <laughs> so I thought those were cute and there's some really nice ones that we'll be using. Next, Joey really loves buying um, cookbooks every time we go. So we found this one. It's a hardcover. Originally it was $4.99. We got it for $1.49 plus the 10%. So you save like 14 cents on this. And this is a Celebrate the Holiday cookbook. Now this one is really cool because they have a, a bunch of different holidays in here. Um, they have um, vegetarian Thanksgiving, traditional Thanksgiving, and an alternative one. Koans is in here, traditional Hanukkah, New Era Hanukkah. Uh, let's see what else is in here. New Year's Eve, Christmas dinner with game, so game style meats. Um, Christmas appetizer buffet, Christmas brunch, formal Christmas dinner. So they have a bunch of different things and different holidays in here, which I really found interesting. Um, here's Christmas tea party. Let me show you like the Kwanzaa and the Hanukkah ones really interested me. I like um, experiencing different things and different holidays. There's vegetarian. Here's the Kwanzaa one. I thought it was super cool. Um, there's okra corn salad with mustard vinaigrette. I'm interested in trying that actually. I'm not a fan of okra typically, but I'll give anything a go at least once. Savory cornmeal muffins, coconut cake, which sounds divine, and festive lemonade. So there's some really cool things in this book. Like I said, for the price, it wasn't bad, and it's a nice hardcover, and apparently this is from the Cooking Club of America. I don't know how much it originally was, but it was worth the dollar and change that we paid. All right, guys, so I'm gonna attempt to bend over and get to the next thing. Oh! All right, so this, all right, I'm just gonna bring the bag up. Oh, sweetie, Jesus, here we go. Whew, sorry guys, like I said, I hurt my back, I think from the hotel. Love you too, Ramon, how are you? Um, yeah, I'm just in a ton of pain between being sunburned and from hurting my back. I'm covered in Icy Hot right now and aloe vera. What a beautiful fragrance that is. We should just market that right now um, as a perfume. We'd be selling it at Macy's everywhere. Next. Um, I got some of these cotton rounds. I ran out of mine on the Cape. Um, so I got another bundle. They were $1.69 plus 10%. So still about a buck. Totally worth it. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. I said I'm in a lot of pain, but we'll deal with it. Next, I got this container. Now, I use coconut oil as a moisturizer, mainly because I've found a moisturizer that I've been really into lately. Um, just haven't been feeling it. For those of you who want to know, I'm drinking the Pure Leaf Unsweetened Black Tea. It's like my favorite from them. I live for this stuff. I drink soda on rare occasion, but I typically am drinking this or water. Um, so I normally use coconut oil as my um, moisturizer. Now the little container that I use now has broken and I've been needing to replace it. So. Um, I found this one. It's a perfect size, and it's got a little bit of bling on top. This was a dollar ninety nine plus ten percent, so it was like a dollar eighty maybe. Um, it's like the perfect size to put my coconut oil in. You can also travel with it too. So I'm really happy with this. Um, I've been needing to get a replacement, and it's just got that little bit of bling that I love, and it's the perfect size. So I've been needing one of those. Next, and this is maybe random, I'm sure, but I've been needing to get one of these because I struggle every year, and I'm like, I'm going to buy it, and then I always forget. So uh, these were between 3 and 10% off would bring it down maybe 
40 cents. Um, this was a set of turkey lifters. So every time I make a turkey, I always forget to get this and I end up struggling with like two like spatulas and trying to, it's a mess. It really is. So I got this and I'm very happy about that because it was a little bit of a discount. Now the next thing, before I show you the really awesome stuff, um, I've been looking for a set of utensils for quite some time. The set that I have, well, it's like a mismatch when Joey and I first got together. Um, we just bought like cheap stuff out of necessity. Like Walmart sometimes has like dollar ones. No, not today, Ramon. Um, like I said, I hurt my back and I'm completely covered head to toe in sunburn. I even got it on the back of my calves. So just wearing light cotton, aloe vera, and keeping it simple today. Um, once everything's healed up, we'll go back to that because it's not really good to be wearing something like that when you're sunburned. So anyway, I'm out of necessity. We bought like cheap ones from Walmart and stuff like that over the years. And our set doesn't match. So I've been wanting a set that matches, but haven't found the one until um, we went to the Cape, oddly enough. And they're gorgeous. They're made by Cambridge. They were originally $24.99, but with the 10% off, they were $2.50 off a piece. So they're about 22 bucks each. I got the, the last two boxes. So it's a serving set of four and there's 20 pieces. This is what it looks like. Now you probably are having trouble seeing this, but it has um, sand dollars and a couple little tiny shells and starfish on here. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Hi, how are you? But I'm, I'm living for this. It's so pretty. Um, like I said, I've been looking for months for a set. No, actually longer than that. Maybe like a year and a half now I've been looking for a um, set. And I finally found it. Oddly enough, it was on the Cape. And they are absolutely beautiful. So that's one thing I can put off on my to-do list as far as like household items. So I got that and I got the turkey lifters. So it's awesome when you find like things that you need and you find them for cheap. And I like how they gave us the paper bag. I like the paper bag better than plastic ones because I can use them for more things. Does anybody remember making like their book covers out of paper bags? Does anybody remember doing that? I don't even think kids today would even know how to, I can still remember how to make them. I don't even know if kids today would even, they probably don't. I see they sell like the rubbery ones at the uh, at Walmart and stuff like that. So kids probably don't know how to make them anymore. But I, I use the paper ones for absolutely everything. The plastic ones, you, I get some uses, but I end up bringing the plastic ones back to, um, to the stores. Anyway, so the next place I went to is right next to that Christmas tree shop. It's called Kathy's um, Resort Wear and Accessories. And oh my gosh, this girl died when she went in there. Oh, if I could have. Oh, hey, Desi. Thank you. Oh, thank you scratched up my arm it's like all burnt. Come here and say hello. It's okay. I know she missed me so much. She was showing me that I was gone, but she stayed with my mom. Oh, ouch. Don't do that. Honey. My little girl. Look how cute she is. Anyway, so um, we went to this little shop and it had the cutest stuff, like the blinged out totes and all the pretty accessories and the shoes. I could have been a lot worse than I was. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna get up and grab it. Oh goodness, it's gonna hurt. So they had some really cute things. I'm just gonna talk to you because you can still hear me. Oh, Ouch. they had some really cute accessories and shoes and the cutest clothing and um, tops and stuff and pants. If I could, I would have spent more time there, but you know, it was just supposed to be a quick trip over there. So the first thing I found, she packaged in this cute little um, organza bag. I love it so much. It was fifteen dollars, which I thought was reasonable for what it is. It's a bracelet, and the cool thing about this bracelet, I used to have a bracelet made out of like old spoons. Um, I don't remember what happened to it. Honestly, I think my ex stole it because it was made out of silver. We won't linger on the past with that but um so it is made out of what looks to be spoons and it has a turtle on it and it's got a magnetic closure and it's absolutely adorable on sorry about 
that guy in the very left truck just passed. That's what it looks like on. Super pretty. You know my love for nautical. Um, so there was a few things in the window that I saw that I really liked. But I didn't see them on any of the shelves. So I was like, well, you know, they are in the window. Those kinds of items that they display tend to sell um, pretty quickly. It's like that when you go anywhere, like Macy's and stuff like that. What's on the mannequins tends to sell very fast. Because obviously they're showcasing these pieces. So they want them to sell. Sorry, guys. Need a little refreshment. So, like I said, I spent some time looking throughout the store. See if I could find the item that I... It's, there's two in the window. One was made out of 100% pure, pure cotton. I was worried that it would shrink, so I didn't end up buying it. And it was long sleeved, and it was actually kind of warm, even though it was meant for summer, so I chose not to that for that. So I checked out, and I bought my bracelet, and the woman there was so sweet. What a beautiful soul. So, made another new friend. I can't wait to go back and see her again. Um, as I'm checking out, one of the dresses that I saw in the window was behind her like on a return rack and I'm like is that for sale or is it like you know being held no 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 um, somebody just tried it on but they decided they don't want it I tried it on and I fell in love with it guys and it was a little pricey but it's I'm gonna get tons of wear out of it and I absolutely love it and you will see an outfit of the day I am gonna do the outfits that I wore on the cape um even though I'm back at home I'm gonna show you what I wore on the cave even though unfortunately I wasn't able to film because of the issue I had with the cell phone service and getting Wi-Fi I just had nothing um, which stinks but I apologize guys it's not that I didn't want to film we tried like crazy to get a hold of some Wi-Fi to get we even tried with Joe's phone to see if we could get on and there's no luck so I do apologize guys but I will be filming those outfits that I wore on the cave um, with you later on when I'm not as crispy so this is the dress and it's got this pretty little keyhole front and it normally I don't think I look good in corals but um, this dress looked amazing and I couldn't live without it so it's coral and it's got this rope print and anchors all over it and I pretty much I pretty much died when I saw this dress Ugh, it was so so I'm in love with this dress. Um, Joey actually bought it for me. It's really sweet of him. I'm very happy. Oh, I love it. I wore it to dinner that night. It was just, I love this dress so much. Next was another little shop that we went to. Now, the one item is going to be for my mom. Um, she washed Desi while I was gone. So, it's just a pretty crystal cross for Christmas. She loves these kinds of things. So, got her that. I gotta keep the price off of it. Next is something I bought for me. And I may be putting it at my desk at work. Um, I haven't decided yet. We're hanging it somewhere in the house. But she was $6.99 and she's so cute. And I, I've seen this sold in stores around. Um, in some of the malls. What, what are the stores called? It's like those little gifty shop things. I don't remember the name of it now. But it's a mermaid. Isn't she pretty, guys? I love her. It says, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. She's actually the last one that they had in this particular setting, so I had to have her. She's so cute. And like I said, she was $6.99, so I'm not sure where I'm putting her yet, but, um, you know, my luck where I could even turn her into a necklace if I wanted to. So those were the items that we picked up. Let me take the price off of my mom's before I forget, because I plan on giving this to her within the next couple of days. She watched Desi while I was gone. And um, Desi knows I'm talking about her. Um, her dog, my mom's dog, and my dog are like best friends. So um, they get along really super well. So she had like a mini vacation and um, she had a lot of fun. She was so happy when we came back. I missed her so much. Oh, because it stinks because. I, I like calling and finding out how everybody's doing and everything like that when I do go on vacation. It might have even been... Because last year I had trouble with with getting Wi-Fi too, but I could at least make phone calls. This time I couldn't, so I don't know if... I don't know. Ugh, oh, that gets burned.
learning. But it was a lot of fun. We spent majority of the time on the beach. Um, it was so busy, guys. Um, Labor Day weekend is like their huge hurrah. Everybody's going back to school. So um, I'm sure. Actually, we left. We came home yesterday, which was Monday. And um, the traffic, like as far as people, had really eased up a lot from the days prior. It was so incredibly busy. I'm really thankful that the place that we stayed at had a restaurant in it. So we really didn't have to fight because we tried going to two different places to eat that we like down on the Cape. The first one had a two hour wait. And what I don't like about that particular place is um, they don't allow you to make reservations, which is it's whatever. I get it. They're busy. Um, and honestly, I've kind of written that restaurant off because it used to be one of our favorites to go to. And the last time we went, number one, the, the servers treat you like garbage. Oh, you grew up on the Cape. I'm jealous. Um, it is crazy all summer. I've been there in June and July as well. I've been there in May, which isn't horrible. But Labor Day weekend is probably the worst I've seen. This isn't the first Labor Day weekend that I've been on the Cape. Um, however, with Joey's job and the way things worked out, we really didn't, oh, sorry guys, like I said, my back is killing me. We didn't have much of a choice as far as planning this particular trip. We had to take this weekend or nothing. So we had to go, even though I knew how bad it was, getting down there Friday, the, um, the traffic wasn't bad. I thought for sure we were going to hit traffic. We made it there in really good time. However, we hit crazy traffic leaving the island. Crazy traffic. Um, which I did expect. Honestly, my expectations were worse than what we actually hit. Um, but it, it is what it is. But I'm glad that we were able to go and enjoy the trip anyway. Yes, the bridge is extremely backed up. Falmouth, I, I have um, a boss that actually had a house there. She absolutely loved it. I've heard really, really great things about Falmouth, and I've also heard really great things about Dennis. I've been to Dennis a few times. Um, I want to spend some more time on my next trip, to be honest with you. Um, where else? There's some other areas I've been wanting to check out. I've been pretty much all over the island over the years. I've been to Providence Town. I've been to Highness, which is a lot of fun. Um, I spent a little time in Chatham, not too much. Um, we explored Dennis last time we were there. But yes, um, it was pretty crazy. Even trying to get out onto the roads. There's just cars, cars, cars everywhere. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun. Like I said, we knew that um, our hotel was very, very close to the water. So we were able to walk to it, which I did intentionally. Because I knew because we had to pick this particular weekend trying to drive and then get parking and then paying to get to the beach was going to be absolutely insane. I already knew that. So I was like, well, let's get a hotel that's either close to or on the water so that it's not hard for us to get there, uh, which is what we wanted to. We just wanted to spend time on the beach. Um, there are malls and stuff there, which are nice, but that's not what we went there for. We went there for to be on the beach. So that's what we did the majority of the time. Um, we stayed on the beaches over there. Like I said, we did that little bit of shopping, and that was it. Um, I don't remember what we... There was a reason why we went to the Christmas tree shop. I don't know if it was for bottled water, or if it was for, um, like, razor blades or something. Yes, I, I love the cave, to be honest with you. That's where my heart lives. Um, I can't tell you the amount of memories that are there. If I could live on the cave, I would. I'm sure... A lot of you would be like, ah, oh, I wouldn't, especially during the summertime. I can't. Dealing with that traffic, going to work on the daily, help. Kudos to you guys, truly. Because um, it is so, so busy. I'm sure it's complete ghost town in the winter months. And I'm sure the snow that comes off of the ocean has to be insane. And you can't really use a lot of, like, you can't really salt the roads like other places can because of the salt water and it affects like you know the oceans and stuff like that so that's got to be absolutely crazy um, but I 
live to be on those beaches. We just walk up and down for hours, which is why I'm as burnt as I am. Um, but I swear to you, I put some block on in the morning. I put on consistently throughout the day. Um, Joey did too. But um, when you're fair skinned and you don't tan, that's what happens. Oh, I didn't realize that the salt affects the cranberry box. I guess it makes sense because cranberries aren't really you know, salt water. Oh, I love visiting the cranberry box too. I love everything about the Cape. I really do. The lighthouses. Um, I visited the Cape Cod Chip Factory while I've been there before, and it's so cool. It's just, it's a free tour that you just walk yourself through, and you, you know, you get to see everything. It's really cool. Um, you get like a little free bag of chips at the end, and we bought a lot of chips. Um, the last time we went to, we didn't go to the Cape Cod Chip Factory this past time, but I live for those chips. Um, Cape Cod chips are the best. They're, I could live, I could eat a bag by myself if left alone, but I try not to. They have a honey mustard flavor out right now that's limited edition that's so good. And then there's also a, I don't know if it's still available, I know it came out I think for breast cancer awareness. It was red wine vinegar and Himalayan pink salt, obviously because they're both pink. Um, those were really, really good too. They always come out with interesting, like limited edition flavors, but I love their um, spicy sweet jalapeno. Yeah, definitely give them a try. They're so good. Uh, I like the sweet and spicy jalapeno. When I was younger, I didn't like sea salt and vinegar. I, I thought salt and vinegar chips were disgusting. Now that I'm older, I like them. Um, the barbecue ones are good. They have a buffalo. I, there's not a flavor of Cape Cod chips I don't like. They're all really good. Um, and I strongly recommend if you haven't tried them. And I also like the ones when they like they double up. Like sometimes you get like the double ones and they got like that double crunch. It's just so satisfying. I love Doritos too. Like those are my other favorite uh, chip. But Cape Cod chips are just amazing with absolutely everything. So I totally recommend that. But the trip was great regardless of how burnt I got and um, now my back hurts which I think might have been from the hotel room bed. But like I said that hotel has treated us so so good over the years. There's another hotel that I typically like to try to use there. <laughs> use it for the doubles too. They're like the best ones in the whole bag are the double chips. Like the way if you guys aren't familiar with Cape Cod chips the way they're made um, they're thinly sliced potatoes and then they fry, fry them or however they make them. I think they're made with sunflower oil or something like that. Um, but sometimes you get two chips that kind of like curl together and it makes it this extra amazing crunch. It's amazing. It's unlike any other chip in the world. I love them. They're so good. They're like kettle cooked. And I think they're a little healthier than some of the other brands. I don't know. They could be worse for you. I'd still eat them. Um, yeah, it was, I guess for most people it would be a boring trip. We just stayed on the water. Uh, did tons and tons of walking down the roads. Um, just because that's what we like to do. And plus, I didn't want to have to fight. The traffic was so, so bad. Like, cars, cars, cars. Good luck trying to get out into it. Um, like I said, we tried getting into the restaurants. Our, we got there the Friday night. Uh, we just ate at the hotel. And then the next day, we tried to do dinner at one of the restaurants. And the one had a two-hour wait which was there's no way I was waiting two hours by the time you get your food it's like 11 o'clock at night I, I wasn't dealing with that because we got there at seven or eight and then like two hour wait and normally it's longer than that because like we did wait the one time for this particular restaurant it said it was like an hour wait and I was like all right for the place it's okay not bad I can do that it was closer to a two hour wait and the wait staff was not very nice um never really was and Joey and I we don't we're not cheap when it comes to tips. Um, you give me decent service, you're going to get a really good tip. If you go exceptional, you're going to get a great tip. Because, you know, we've both worked in the service industry before. We know how difficult it can be. So we don't, we're not cheap with tips when it comes to um, service. So the one girl, I gave her, like, whatever our bill was, that's her tip was half of the bill. So 50%, I would say, is a decent tip. Um, and she rolled her eyes at us like she wasn't happy with that. I was kind of upset about it Oh, that's really cool So and then so like I said she rolled her eyes at us 
and Joey's got a piece of salmon, which I know when you order a piece of fish, you're looking at a serving size, we'll say about like that, going maybe a little bit bigger. That, that's about going right for a size of fish, and then you get your, you know, your side of vegetable, or whatever it is. His piece was half of that, like a legit. Yeah, like about maybe the size of this coupon. Like, smaller than what a typical serving size of fish would be. And it was, like, overcooked, you could tell. And mine was burnt. I was really upset. And this is, like, one of the, like, restaurants that the area is known for. So I'm not going to give up the name of the place. Um, we just don't have any intent on going back. Um, then there's another one that's known for their um, chowder. It's I mean, it's, it's all about the chowder down there. Um, and they do have a really good chowder. And they were an hour wait. And at this point, we had wasted so much time. It was getting late. We just went back to the hotel because our hotel has a really, really good um, restaurant in it, a restaurant and bar. So we ended up going there instead. And their food is divine. The service is always amazing. Um, the people who run the place are really good. Like I said, the only thing that's stunk is that I couldn't get onto the Wi-Fi because my phone is just stupid. That had nothing to do with the hotel. Um, but we, we stay with them pretty much every year, and they're always really good to us. So, um, really, really enjoyed that. Oh my goodness, I'm going to need to put more aloe vera on my back because it's like burning. Um, but yeah, it was awesome, guys. And again, I'm sorry that I couldn't share the experience with you while I was down there. Um, it really bothered me. Even Joey, he, he tried to, um, so we could take footage while we were down there. I did get some pictures. So I'll be posting them on Instagram. Not a lot, because again... A lot of issues with the phone but it was so awesome to be able to get away I mean when we went to Bermuda it was fun but because we were doing so much running around like we wanted to see this we wanted to see that we didn't really have a chance to really relax I mean we did but we didn't does that make sense um I don't know we just wanted to get so much done because we knew we were going to not have a lot of time there that it was just a lot of running around. It was the first time out of the country and there was just so much that we wanted to do. Whereas this was just purely a trip for relaxation and it was absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, I can just bob up and down the water. We did have perfect weather as far as um, that went. I was in that ocean enjoying everything, like just kind of bouncing with the waves. Um, there's something about, I call it like vitamin C, S-E-A. There's something about getting that vitamin C. Once that's in your soul, it's there. Like, I know a lot of people like the mountains, and I've been to the mountains, and they're okay, but my heart belongs to the ocean, and it always will, and I absolutely live for the cave. Oh, I love it. I truly do. If I could have a house down there one day, I would love that. That'd be great. Oh, that would be so cool. I would love that. Maybe one day. We'll see. Oh, it hurts so bad. Sorry, guys. Like, so painful. Let's see right Ah, oh, it hurts. It was worth it. Oh, I can't tell you how much of that I, I'm out. Like, my bottle's got like this much left of sunblock in it. I used SPF 50 Water Babies, like the waterproof copper tone. I still hurt myself. And I, I'm not going to tan, I know that. I'll go back to being the pasty white complexion I always am. I'm jealous. Joey gets a gorgeous tan. I never do. Oh well. It's in my blood. My mom's the same way. I got her skin. It happens. But it was totally worth it. Um, although now that I'm back home, I need to do something. I need to get my eyebrows done. My nails need to get done. Like, especially, I need a pity in the worst way. Ugh but my feet are super super smooth right now and that's awesome I got one of those baby feet things you guys saw me haul not that long ago from TJ Maxx I can't wait to try that now the summer unfortunately is coming to a close that's the thing that's like most depressing is that summer is almost well, summer is over we're in September and I live for the summer the trees are starting to turn color a little bit here and I don't like that which means and I've heard that the summer's uh, that summer the winter is going to be bad like we had last year and I'm not looking forward to that which is kind of funny because I would love to live like in mass like Cape Cod mass but it's I'm 
sure their their winters are just as bad. Um, I don't know. I think it'd be worth it being that close to the ocean, though. I don't live close to the ocean. It's a bit of a ride, but it's so worth it. <sighs> but it was the perfect way of ending the summer. Totally would do it again. Like I said, I would like to do it that my next trip to the Cape, I'd like to do it like more in the fall. We've done that before and it's always been beautiful. And I love how like the chowder's so good. Um, I went to this one place, I can't remember the name of the restaurant. I know where it's located. I just don't remember the name of it where like we ordered um, like a turkey special and like they had this stuffing with cranberries in it. I, we don't really make it with fruit um, in my family. So that, oh, delicious and I think there's something like that in this cookbook that I showed you guys you'll have to try I'm really excited for but it's nice to be back I go back to work tomorrow so I'm like aloe vering the crap out of myself today I'll be bringing aloe vera with me tomorrow because I'm definitely gonna need it I probably gonna be doing very limited makeup um, over the next couple of days just to have my skin calm down a little bit but I did get some awesome makeup guys um, I haven't posted the video yet but you guys will be seeing it shortly I'll show it to you guys now though um, what I got this one this is the wet and wild um, fire dragon ice dragon set I plan on doing some looks with this in the very near future for you guys um, like I said, I didn't plan on getting burned. Otherwise, I was going to do that within the next few days. So we're going to wait for the sunburn to heal, and then we'll take care of that. Um, so did any of you guys go for anything fun during Labor Day? Did you go on vacation, or what were your vacations like during um, the summer? Um, There's always going to be a special place in my heart for the Cape, and if you haven't been, I totally recommend it. It's so fun. Um, the Kennedys have a very large history there. So you can see a lot of that. There's a museum of that in Hyannis, which is really cool. Um, there is a pirate museum in Yarmouth, which I've been to. It's called, I can't pronounce it. I think it's called the Waida Pirate Museum. Hello, how are you, Frederick? Um, yeah, I think it's called the Waida Pirate Museum. And it's about, his name, his last name is Bellamy. I don't remember his first name now. Is it John Bellamy or James Bellamy, something like that. It's a really, really cool museum. Um, they found the shipwreck off the off of the Cape somewhere. And there is all kinds of like, there's muskets in there. You can see cannonballs, like different things that they had on the ship that they would use. There's all kinds of stuff. There's a ton of different coins, um, clothing that they found and stuff like that. The museum is really, really cool. And there's a section of the museum where they actually Oh, hello. Oh, you're from Bavaria. That is awesome. And thank you. I'm glad you enjoy um, the videos. Uh, Bavaria would be a fun trip. I'd like to go there one day, too. Um, but anyway, the Pirate Museum has an area where they're still, like, ex uh, excavating. I don't think it's the proper word here. But they have rocks and, like, I items that are encased in, like, sand and stuff, and they're trying to pull them apart. So you, um, you can go in there and see their progress, which is super cool. Um, I don't know if I ever posted any pictures on Instagram when I went there. If not, I'll have to post some pictures on there recently so you can see. It's so awesome. They've like found pieces of gold and all kinds of things. And the story of Bellamy was really, it's sad but beautiful at the same time. So um, definitely look up the Pirate Bell. I think it's B-E-L-L-M-A-Y. If you look up Pirates, you'll be able to find him. Um, it's really cool recommend seeing that museum it used to be when I was um, little little like oh my god the first time I went I don't remember how old I was my mom and dad brought me and uh, it used to be a petting zoo where the museum sits now um, but the museum is so awesome I've been trying to get my mom to go for years like come on you gotta come and I, I love museums anyway so a pirate museum totally up my alley there's also a golf course I just go to like watch people. I don't actually play golf um, there. What's it called? Oh my god, it's Captain. Ah, I can't remember the name of the darn thing. There's a few of them. There's Skull Island. There's one. 
it's Captain, it's a pirate themed one. It is so darn cool. It's a little mini golf. There's like a guy trying to escape from the shark, and there's like waterfalls. They have a um, Jack Sparrow, like one of those plastic figure thingies. Um, I just like going there and looking. I, I normally walk through the gift shop. Normally it's so busy. I don't want to golf there because of so many people. Like the lines, I mean, when we went by there, the lines were absolutely insane. It, it was insane. And you know, another weird thing about the Cape, we only just realized that when we were down there. We were looking for a light lunch, and we ended up at a um, pizza joint that did sandwiches and salads and stuff like that. And a lot, there's a lot of Italian food on the Cape, which I find kind of interesting, especially since um, there's a very strong Irish influence there as well, which is really cool. Just all kinds of history there, so you really need to check it out. It's really awesome. Um, but yeah, there's lots of Italian food. We like going bowling there too, but again, it was so busy. I, I don't regret just staying on the water, because um, that's what we go for, is to be on the beaches, and that's so cool. Um, we did see a couple jellyfish. We found a big one this time. He was like, like that big. He was dead. And there's a lot of horseshoe crabs there, which... I've only seen one living one since I've been there, so I really don't know, like, the lifespan of horseshoe crabs, but, um, pretty much every time we go, you'll find dead horseshoe crabs on the beach. They're really cool looking, I'm not gonna lie, but, um, I don't know if that, if that if how long their lives are, I really don't know, but there's, like, tons of them, and it's funny because children have a huge fascination with these things. You can always tell that when there's been a child nearby, because they'll collect them all. And they'll like build things with them. I think it's I think it's adorable. I think it's funny. Um, have huge. When Anthony and I were kids, we did the same thing. We would collect the horseshoe crabs. My mother hated it. She was like, "Don't touch those things." But they really can't hurt you, did it? Um, but we did see a couple of uh, jellyfish while we were there. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, we were there. I guess um, back in April, somebody got attacked by a shark down there. Um, I, I think he was from New York. At least that's what the thing, I was watching the news. We don't have actual cable, so I was watching that on the right before going to bed. I was watching some of the news, and then I found out that Harry Potter was on like the Sci-Fi Channel, so I watched some of that. Um, but some guy got attacked by a shark. I don't remember the name of the town though. Yeah, he was vacationing, and thankfully he's okay. But he, because um, you're supposed to hit them on the nose, and they'll release. So he got hit. I think he was in like 15 feet. So we didn't really like go out, you know, I really don't go any deeper than where I can stand, like up to here as far as water goes. Um, on the beach, I had, I had a cousin um, drown. Um, he went swimming in an area that had some very heavy um, currents and the current pulled him down. He wasn't a very strong swimmer and um, he, he didn't make it. So it's not something I like to talk about and I'm sorry to bring this into this uh, video, but I don't go in as far as like deep, deep water because of that. Um, like as long as I can stand comfortably, that's as far as I'll go because of that um, situation. But um, yeah, we had a great time. I really love um, going through and looking for the shells. You'll find mussel shells. They have um, these weird little like snail creature things that like clump onto each other that are really cool. Um, I, you, you'll see tiny little fish, and I find a little, like, on the rocks, you'll see, like, barnacle kind of things. <laughs> Would I do camping for a vacation? I'll be honest with you, probably not. Um, I'm a hotel kind of girl. <laughs> uh, I've been camping before, but we're talking really rough camping. Um, I had an ex that would, like, sleep under the stars kind of thing just wasn't my thing um i don't know i guess we like the right area or you know like i i'll never say no it fully depends i'm not really a country girl so like i said it would really depend i know um people in the area that i live in there's some very very country people that would just like to go out into the woods and rough it like as far as like eating bugs kind of roughing it and no, I, no, no. If I don't have to eat a bug, I'm not going to. I mean, people consider lobsters bugs. I'll eat a lobster. That's as buggy as I'll get. Um, but yeah, maybe one day. I don't really know. 
but leaning towards more of the no side with that. Um, like I said, I'm not really a country girl at heart. You know, I like the idea of being in a, a nice hotel or on a cruise ship. That would be fun. You know, those kind of things. Oh, thank you. It's great getting to know you guys too. That's why I love doing these live videos. Because I get to see where you guys are from and what you guys are into and stuff like that. And it's really fun. I want to do a live eating show one of these days. Um, Joe and I have been talking about it. He wants to do like a Chinese mukbang and just where we talk to you guys. And, you know, have like a dinner with me kind of thing. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I did buy some gummies that we need to do like a taste test video on. But he would he was really interested in doing like a live talking eating kind of video. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to do that because my best friend's birthday is um her big birthday party is coming up this weekend. There's gonna be a lot of things going on. Maybe Friday? We'll see. We'll see. Joey got pretty burnt too, so um we'll definitely have to check that out. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, we're doing a Harry Potter, like, thing now where, um, it's funny. Every time we go to the Cape, we'll, we'll end up watching something that kind of reminds us of the Cape. So last year, it was Ghostbusters because one of the places that we stopped at before we left, we went to get sliced to eat um, before leaving the Cape, and they had Ghostbusters playing, so we were, like, on a Ghostbuster kick briefly because it reminded us of the Cape. And this time, because the Sci-Fi Channel had, like, a Harry Potter thing all weekend, um, out our Harry Potter movies and we're watching those right now so we watched the first one last night and um, it was a lot of fun but yeah guys it was a great time you know I'm definitely want to be doing another one of these very soon um, maybe Friday I'm gonna see if I can convince Joey to come on here and we'll eat Chinese food together and have a nice time I think that'll be a lot of fun um, I have an idea where I would set the camera up so I think we'll have a good time doing that what do you guys think be down to do a dinner with us. Uh, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Like I said, I do plan on doing some makeup tutorial videos at some point. I have a huge, huge um, internet haul. Some really cool things that I've recently shopped and got. Some of them are toys. Some of them are accessories. Um, yeah, but I, I want to kind of like lump it together as like things that I got in the mail that I ordered. Ah. I definitely burnt my nose because it's like all itchy and it's driving me crazy. Sorry guys, I'm not picking my nose, I swear. Um, but yeah, so lots of cool things coming up. I also want to do a project pan at some point. Uh, I typically do them after the summer, right before the holidays. I've been project panning, like I always will, I kind of always project pan something, I'm always working on something. Um, so, but there's a few things that I'm probably going to be project panning in the near future. I try to get like 10 items and use them down. I don't quite have 10 as of yet. I, there are a few, but um, we will get to that in those videos. So anyway guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I need to put on some more aloe vera before my back like drives me absolutely up the wall. Um, and I have to wrap up my best friend's gifts. Um, she's got a big milestone birthday party coming up and I'm so happy for her. And um, I really need to get that stuff done because I know I'm not going to pretty much have um, time to do it throughout the week. And Desi needs the bath. So, yeah, lots of fun stuff. I'm not sure how I'm going to bathe this dog with my back feeling the way it does. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be a lot of fun. Between being sunburned and my back feeling like a pretzel, it's been fun. But I always love coming on here and doing these live things with you guys. I really do. Um, it's been a lot of fun. And um, like I said, I am sorry that I couldn't bring you with me. Um, next time I will be bringing my actual camera so I can at least video footage some things and then when I get back I can always upload them. But I didn't do that thinking that I could do it with my phone. So hey, we live and learn. It happens. Um, but it is what it is and um, I have hopefully within the next month um, something really cool to tell you guys too that I'm really excited about. So we'll see. But yeah, so we got some awesome things coming up guys I'm going to let the phone charge I have my other battery pack charging for my other camera and I'm gonna go slather myself in aloe vera now and I'll see you in the next video thanks again guys for watching I really do appreciate it and I really love talking to you guys in these live videos um, it means a lot to me yes absolutely um, so anyway guys I'm going to head out
put on some icy hot on my back and some aloe vera on my face and upper back. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Uh, like I said, I want to do another live video. I want to say Friday. Maybe we'll do a have dinner with me kind of video. Um, hopefully I won't be as burnt by then. I'll probably be peely by then, so please excuse that. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care, and thanks again for watching. Bye.